2010 MacBook Pro keyboard replacement, please note that the DVD and the logic board have to come out. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Logic board removal. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws, but leave them in place. You can now lift up the fan and disconnect it. Disconnect the speaker, then the Wi-Fi cable, the DVD drive and the hard drive, now the trackpad. Next the keyboard. Make sure to flip up the keyboard latch before disconnecting it. Lift up the latch on the backlight as well. Disconnect the battery light indicator. Pry back and disconnect the LVDS cable. Remove the seven logic board T6 screws. Remove the LVDS bracket that's held in with two Phillips head screws. This is a very important step. Use tweezers to pry back the glued in microphone. Make sure that the microphone is loose. You can now lift up on the logic board, but be careful, there's one more connection. Flip it over. Disconnect the DCN power board. The logic board is now free. DVD super drive removal. Begin by unscrewing the two Phillips head screws that are attaching the speaker. Once removed, you can push the speaker out of the way. Remove the Wi-Fi cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Remove the three Phillips head screws that are holding the DVD drive. Lift up and remove the drive. Keyboard removal. Remove the mid wall that's being held in with two Phillips head screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now that the wall is out of the way, go ahead and detach the power button. It's screwed in with two Phillips head screws. You will have to separate the Wi Fi antenna cable and the speaker cables to get to those screws. Once those screws are removed, you can pry out the power button with a set of tweezers. Now you can pry out the three layers that are covering the keyboard. The first layer is the backlight. The second layer is the light distribution plastic layer. And then the third layer is the blocking layer. The 
LED lights on the backlight go into the plastic layer and distribute light then that light is blocked off by the next layer that works as a shadow mask remove the 51 Phillips head screws this will release the keyboard it will look something like this when it's out since I'm most certain that you enjoyed that reinstallation we can get on with the reassembly reattach the backlight with the layers make sure to use the pinholes to align the layers correctly there's one on the left and one on the right tuck it in moving any cables out of the way once it's properly aligned you can go ahead and reattach the power button with two Phillips head screws reattach the mid wall it is also being held in with two Phillips head screws You can now reinstall the DVD super drive. Place it in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure it with three Phillips head screws. One in the top left corner, one in the bottom left corner, one in the back. Reattach the Wi-Fi cable bracket. Secure it with two Phillips head screws. Tuck in the Wi-Fi cable into the speaker. Secure the speaker in its location with two Phillips head screws. logic board reinstallation reconnect the DCN power board first at an angle USB's first reinsert the logic board in prying all of the cables out of the way gently drop the board in Pry out any of the block cables with tweezers. Reinstall the seven logic board T6 screws. Insert the fan and screw it in with three T6 screws. Reconnect the fan to the logic board. Reinsert the LVDS cable bracket 
and screw it in with two Phillips head screws. Reinsert the LVDS cable. Be careful, you can damage the socket. Make sure to lock it in. Reconnect the battery indicator. Reconnect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive, then the trackpad. Make sure that the eyelash is up and reconnect the keyboard backlight. Slide it in and lock in the lash. Now reinsert the keyboard. Again, make sure that the latch is up. This can take some time. Use tweezers to help you. Once the keyboard is reinserted, make sure to push down on the eyelash. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws. Seven short screws first starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws in the top.